So I wanted to jump on here because I had something really interesting happen to me just moments ago. I had a dear friend jump in to my DMs and said, hey, my husband lost his job due to not getting the you know what. And the news wants to do a story on it. You guys, this is going to be really important. Listen up, because if this isn't you, it's somebody that you know. And I need you to pay attention to this. So she asked me, she said, hey, so the news wants to do a story on my husband because he lost his job because he didn't get the you know what, didn't get the jab. And she's like, can I trust them? First of all, I was honored that she'd even she'd even ask me. And if you're asking why would you say that, I was a former news anchor and reporter for five years. And I actually worked in this particular market and this station was a competitor. So I sat there and I looked at that question. I'm like, wow, what a weighty question. What a weighty question. And this was my response to her. My response to her is if I was you and somebody came to me and uh, they were somebody on the news and they asked me, hey, can I do a story or can I interview or can I talk to you? Probably most of our first initial reaction, if we're not camera shy and maybe we're an extrovert, is like, yes, sure, yes, talk to me. But here's the thing. There's a reason why I titled this Don't Trust Them because you can't trust the information you give to everyone especially the news. The reason why is because when somebody or an organization like the news has their own agenda, doesn't matter how much truth you share with them, they are going to spin it the way they want to spin it. So my friend that was asking this because she wanted to do it out of service, out of sharing with people, look, my husband lost his job that he has been in for however many years. He's poured his blood, sweat, and tears. And because he didn't want to follow a mandate and they didn't give him freedom of choice, he lost his job and they wanted to do a story on that. And her mind's like, oh, I want to educate and share with people. This is what's really happening. But what the news's agenda is, and I've already gotten on here. I've shared a lot of my insights from being a former news anchor and reporter. And if you have not caught those videos just yet, you can check them out in my IGTV, on YouTube, wherever you're watching this, Facebook. And at the end of the day, their objective is to instill fear in you. 100%. 100%. The, the thing that, that gets me is that, again, you can share as much truth as you want with the news or an organization or a person, but truth will fall on deaf ears if they're not wanting to hear it. And so the question that I love to even ask people when I'm sharing things with them is like, let me pause for a second. What are you hearing right now? I'm curious on what you're picking up. And then you'll really understand what is it that they're hearing. But with somebody like an organization like the news, In regards to my friend's story, the whole reason why I'm jumping on here is she wants to help educate and share with people this is what's really happening. But when somebody's agenda is essentially, I'm like, you could go on there. You could share your story, you or your husband, and uh, you can't control how they're going to edit it. Because for me, formerly being in the news, one of the things that really rubbed me wrong is I've had times um, in my past, of course, where my news director, the person who says, yep, that looks good, that can go on air, said, we don't want it written that way. We want it written another way. We want the story to be framed like this when that wasn't the truth. And if that happened five years ago, six years ago, probably longer, that is definitely happening today because it doesn't just stop because he has to answer to other bosses who want a certain agenda and certain pieces out there. So I said, you know what, if it was me, I told my friend, if it was me and they asked me, it's like, hey, I would love to interview you because your husband lost his job. I would say respectfully, no, but thank you for asking. And the reason why I told her no is like, you cannot again, control how people are going to spin your truth. And so that even begs a bigger question is who are you telling your truth to? And is it going to fall on deaf ears? Because not everybody's ready for the truth. Not everybody's ready for your truth. And sometimes it's just better just to sit back and just say nothing at all. To say nothing at all. Because guess what? People out there know people are losing jobs. But most of the people that are actually watching the news, they are watching it because they're going, I want to know what's going on. It's feeding their fear. It's feeding their fear. I want to be caught up. I want to know what's going on. You don't need to watch the news to do that. It is absolutely everywhere. What I do actually is I'll jump on Twitter once a week and be like, okay, where are my little bites? Boom, boom. Okay, this is what Newsom's doing. Great, wonderful. Next, move on to something that's actually going to make a difference rather than listening to the people who are literally trying to drown this country, drown the world. So you may have good intentions. You may have a lot of truth you want to share with certain people and you may want to just beat them over the head with it because you're like, I want you to get this so bad. But if people aren't ready to hear it, don't waste your breath. Don't waste your breath. 
have enough awareness to know, okay, assess the situation, maybe their body language, how they're reacting, you know, things that they say and be like, is this person ready to hear what it is that I'm about ready to share with them? Because you, again, you could have the best intentions and you likely do have the best intentions, but there are people out there that do not. There are people out there that just want to take your words, manipulate them. And in my opinion, so if I were, if I was to be asked like, hey, I want to share your story on the news. You lost your job due to not getting the job. You know, how do you feel about it? They want the emotion. I can almost guarantee because I know how that organization, the news operates again, because I was in it for five years and thank God I'm out. Thank God I am out. But when I was in it, I just, I saw, I saw it all. And I'm like, this is, this is horrible. I know they're going to spin it on. Okay, most of the people watching the news probably going to be like, what? well, he should lose his job. He should lose his job. You know, he that serves him right. You know, he should get the job. Da, 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 da. And I'm not on here bashing people who get it. If you needed to get it for you, all you. I'm not here to bash. I'm just saying, let people have a choice. And people should not be getting fired over that. People should not be losing their pensions, their livelihoods over that. Thank God for people and like the pilots of Southwest and Delta Airlines that are saying, don't tread on me. Don't even come over here and try to threaten me with that. That's no, 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 we're not doing that. I am so grateful for people that are standing up because if I was in that position and it was up to me getting fired, I would be like, bye, my body, my choice. So at the end of the day, um, it was just very interesting to get that message and be like, what would you do? And I said, at the end of the day, for those that are just jumping on here, my friend's message this morning was the news wants to interview my husband because he lost his job for not getting the job. What would you do? Can you trust them? Just like what I titled this video, don't trust them. Don't trust them because if you don't even, a lot of us don't even really watch the news anymore. And if you do, to each their own. Um, I suggest turning something a little bit more positive on, but hey, that's just my opinion. Um, you can't control how people are gonna twist your truth. You can't, and I definitely would not control an organization that is ran by the people who have the biggest and deepest pockets in America that are likely behind everything that's going on. My opinion, my opinion, right? But one of the things that I am a huge, huge proponent of and that I teach my clients is you get to be bold. You get to share your real bold and authentic voice, and this is me sharing. This is me sharing knowing that I'm going to get pushback. This is me sharing knowing that I'm going to, you know, people are not going to like this. I may lose followers. That's okay. Guess what? Because my story isn't for everyone. But what I do love to do is I love to help people think for themselves. I love to help people really press in and be like, okay, does this make sense to me? People losing their jobs over a jab when nobody was losing their jobs when they didn't get the flu vaccine. But that's killed way more people. I'm not even going to go down that route that, whole, that hard. But the thing is, is that you just have to think for yourself. You have to think for yourself. You have to think for yourself. And that's why there's shirts going around. Um, and I bought one. It says, you know, think, think while it's still legal. And it's kind of funny to like, oh, that's kind of funny and cute. But it's true. It's absolutely true. So I just wanted to come on here and share that with you guys because it's just like you can't trust everybody with the information that you give them just like the the, the game the game telephone when we were kids it's like you tell one person by the time it gets around the circle it's almost a completely different story why because people are listening and they're hearing things differently but then a medium like the news the media that organization has its agenda it has its agenda to pump fear death destruction stuff that gets you to keep watching because that's what it's there for. And that's why I got out. Point blank period. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be a part of this agenda anymore. But I'm going to use the, the, the skill set that I got out of being there for five years and use it for good. So just make sure when you're sharing your story and you're sharing with people, you got to check and see and assess the situation. Are they even open? Is this something that's going to fall in deaf ears? Am I going to waste my time? Or is this something that they may be you know, receptive to? Just an idea. So love to hear your guys' thoughts. Love to hear your comments. Share this video with other people that need to hear it because at the end of the day, like this, this is a message for everybody. This is a message for everybody, but you know, only few will get it. And then some will probably, you know, unfollow, you know, be like, oh, forget her. I don't care what she's saying. That's fine. It is all good. But I get to share my truth because this is my, this is my profile, my platform. Just like you get to share yours and it's not going to be for everybody. So love to hear you guys' comments below and thanks for jumping on.